Number 50, at time t equals to zero, Apple One is dropped from a bridge on the roadway beneath the bridge. Somewhat later, Apple Two is thrown down from the same height. This figure over here gives the vertical positions y of the apples versus t during the falling, until both apples have hit the roadway. The scaling setting by ts equals to 2 seconds, with approximately what speed is apple 2 thrown down. So ts is equal to 2 seconds, and since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different divisions, each division equals to 0 0.25 seconds. So this is 0 0.25, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, 1 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, So let's draw. So let's say that instead of a bridge, the apples fall from a building because they don't know how to draw bridges. So let's say that the first apple is a red apple and it goes like this. So the initial position, let's say it is x0. We don't know the initial position because it's the height of the building. And the final position is zero. Let's say that in the ground, the position is zero. The second apple is a, a green apple, let's say, because it's easier to see. And then it falls from the top of the building as well. Let's say that upwards it's positive. So downwards is negative. So the acceleration of gravity is minus 9.8 meters per square second. The initial velocity of the red apple, let's say it's V1, which is zero. It says over here that it's dropped, so it's zero. And the initial velocity of the green apple is what we want to know, right? So this is what we want to know. So let's write down the equation for the movement of the green apple and see what happens. So since the acceleration is constant, we can use the equation that x equals to x0 plus v zero t plus a t squared over two. So for the green apple, we know that the final position is zero. The initial position we don't know, it's x zero. The initial velocity we don't, we don't know, it's v zero. The time it, it took to reach the ground, we know it's this time over here, which is 2.25 minus one. So let's say it's t2 is equal to 2.25 minus 1, which is equal to 1.25 seconds. So this is t2. So t2 plus a t2 squared over 2. So notice that the only things that we don't know in this equation is the height of the bridge and the initial velocity of the green apple because t2 we know it's 1.25 and the acceleration we know is 9.8 so if we find x0 we can find v0 so let's first isolate uh, v0 in this equation and then we have that v not v0 v2 v2 times t2 is equal to minus x0 minus a t2 squared over 2 so v2 is equal to 1 over t2 minus 1 over t2, which multiplies v0 plus a t2 squared over 2, right? This is uh, v2. So we have to find x0, and we will find x0 by using the movement of the red apple. So let's write this equation for the red apple. The final position of the red apple is zero as well. The initial position is x0. The initial velocity of the red apple is zero, so we can cross out this term over here. And the acceleration is the acceleration of the gravity. T is T1. T1 is equal to Ts, which is two seconds over two. So we know that x0 is equal to minus a T1 squared over which is equal to minus minus 9.8 times 2 squared over 2 which is equal to 19.6 meters so x0 is 19.6 meters so all we have to do now is just replace this letter by numbers and that's it so v2 
is equal to minus 1.1.25 times 19.6 plus minus 9.8 times 1.25 squared over 2. And if you do this calculation over here, you would find roughly, let's see, uh, 9.6 meters per second, minus 9.6 meters per second. So this is the speed, the, the velocity instead, the velocity of Apple II.